157 people were killed in 13 serial blasts in Mumbai in 1993. On the broadcast, we get you confessions of a terrorist. Yaqub Memon, as he tells the India Today group how the conspiracy was hatched and the role played by Pakistan's intelligence agencies. That is our top focus story on India Today. You left Bombay on March 11th for Dubai? Yes. How did you reach Pakistan? On 17th, we have boarded a PIA flight. For, it was to land at Dubai via Karachi. But we were escorted by a Pakistani agent at Karachi airport without any immigration and formality. We were out of the, the sky, the Azam airport, Karachi airport. By Pakistani agent, you mean who? Asif, his, his name was, he was a bald fellow. He escorted us right from inside the airport outside. And your passports were they stamped? No, no formalities of any immigration or customs were completed. A Pakistani official came, took you off the flight, yes. and took you without any formalities. Right, through. right. And your passports were given to him? Did you give him your Indian passport? Yes, he collected our Indian passport. The very first thing he did, he collected our Indian passport. He escorted us outside the airport then, without any formality. You did not have your, Pakistan, your Indian passport with you then? Yes, since then, after one year, we received our Indian passports. Where were you taken then, by Asif? Uh, from there, from the airport, we were taken to one Tofik Jaliawala's bungalow in Karachi. It is in Duraji colony. And you stayed there? Yeah, we stayed there. The whole family? Not whole family, because on 17th, myself, my wife, father, mother and uh, younger brothers had shifted there. By 20 or 21st, rest of the members joined us at the same place in the bungalow. So, which other places did you stay after that? Then, after a few days, about eight days later, we were shifted to a new house of Tofix Jaliawala. It was at Rufi Cottage, some Gulshan e Iqbal area, block 13D. We were shifted there. And who is this Tafik? Tofik is a friend of Tiger. Tiger is my elder brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have certain business in Dubai for the past three, four years, I don't know mm -hmm. exactly. He's a partner, a business partner of Tiger. What business is He's a Pakistani, based in Karachi and Dubai. What business was this? I think in the Karachi he has construction business, plus he has a car dealer showroom. Tiger had a construction business in Pakistan? No, no. Hmm. Tiger don't have any business in Pakistan. No, but you Tofik said they had a joint business in Dubai. With Tofik, Tofik Jaliawala and Tiger do business in Dubai, not what in Pakistan. That? That may, it may be smuggling business because now I'm convinced about this, his activities. Smuggling what? Smuggling that I don't know. You're so convinced about his activities? Yes, illegal activities. How are you convinced? Because later on I had very good contact with Tofik, you know. Mm -hmm. I was in. I but used you to had talk even to. Even better contact with your brother. No. With my brother, I don't have any contact. I hardly remember I have spoken one hour with him, you know, at a stretch in my life. You were living in the same. House. Yes, we were living in the same house right from childhood. We were staying together, but he has his own life, own way of living. I was busy with my work, my studies, my way of life. I never interfered him in his work and he never asked me what is income tax and what you are doing. So that way I was never close to him. But you obeyed him when he asked you to leave, did you? I didn't obey him actually that time. When you left, can you see us on the 14 circumstances of when you left Bombay? See, I left Bombay on 11th March. In first week of March, Tiger told me, that the things are not, uh, there is a lot of tension over here. And that time was such, you know, after January right especially. Can we just stop here for a minute? Sure. Let me just yeah. go back first. Who was, when you were in Pakistan, who was taking care of your finances? 
Tiger and Tofik. Tiger and Tofik were paying for everything. Yes. How were you living? I mean, you were not earning anything. Not exactly. Uh, after not exactly six months, anything? we have started earning. In what? We were doing construction business. Plus, younger brother Ayub was also engaged in export business of rice. But that is true. The support came from Tofik Jaliawala and Tiger. The so investment. You took support even yes, yes. You had only spoken to him for one hour. You are saying in your life. Yes, I took his support in Pakistan, and a lot of support in Pakistan. I took his lot of support. And you were in Bangkok from April 17th to 29th. Yes. Why did you go to Bangkok? Bangkok. We were taken to Bangkok on 17th April. Uh, those was the time, you know, I had realized what has happened. Before that, neither myself nor any member of the family had the slightest, you know, inkling about all these things. But when, after reaching, with this bomb blast mm -hmm. and the conspiracy behind this, mm -hmm. so you got to know about it in Bangkok. Not in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. After reaching Karachi. I see. And when you went to Bangkok, who accompanied you? Uh, Bangkok, we... Uh, Captain Sauver, his name was, alias Usman. He was a government official. He accompanied... Pakistani the, government? Yes, a Pakistani government official. What was his name? He used to tell Usman, but later I came to know that his name is Captain Sauver. Where did you stay in Bangkok? Bangkok, we were taken to a bungalow at some Pattaya Road. And then we were confined to a house. We didn't move anyway. They you used didn't to serve. Stay in a hotel? On 16th, some of the members had gone. They stayed in hotel Indra Regency. Mm -hmm. I went on 17th. We joined them. And then we were taken to a bungalow at Pattaya Road. There we stayed for around up to 29th April. 29th you kept April. your expenses in, uh, in, in Bangkok? I think these Pakistani officials. Because they used to come and talk to Tiger. You didn't ask? No, I didn't ask that time. When you came back to Pakistan, yes. what did you do for your accommodation? When we came back to Pakistan, that same fellow Asif, you know, bald-headed, mm -hmm. he took us out. At that time, though, we were traveling on Pakistani passport. So all the formalities were completed. And we were transported to a house at Defense Housing Authority. There already Ayub, his wife and father and mother were present because they didn't come with us to Bangkok since Reshma Babi was expecting that time. When you came back, was any land bought? Yes, after that Tofik and Tiger had arranged a plot of land for a new house at Karachi Development Scheme. How many? Uh, what was the size of it? It was 1000 yards, a very spacious plot was there. How much did you pay for it? Around 60 lakhs rupees. 60 lakhs? Yes. And who paid for it? Tiger. Tiger and Tofik used to pay. All the funds was given by Tiger and Tofik. But you were helping uh, Tiger with his finances? No. Never. You were not his accountant? Never. You were not withdrawing money on his behalf? Never. In Bombay? Not in Pakistan also. Uh, then while you were in Pakistan, you set up a construction company with Tafik Siddiqui, his brother. Well, coming from Bangkok, you know, I had decided that uh, I'll go into detail of these matters and see how this has happened, this bomb blast has happened, who were the people behind it, and on whose backing all these things were done, and why we were dragged from Bombay to Dubai and from Dubai to Pakistan saying that it is the danger of your life and all this, all sorts of thing. So I was interested Question. in that. Yeah, okay. And then? So, in Pakistan, whatever I was doing, I was doing with a specific purpose. Because I didn't have any other alternative. I used to collect all the information for my purpose and that was to know exactly who are the people behind these things and why we should suffer for that. I see. 
So you seem to have now, if we go back to how things happened, you went to uh, Dubai, you went to Pakistan. Yes. You seem to have been very comfortable in Pakistan. Very comfortable. You lived in a house which the construction alone was 1.16 crores. Yes. You were rehabilitated. Yes, yes. Pakistanis gave you identity cards. Yes. Gave you a school certificate. Definitely. Gave you a second passport. Yes. Why would Pakistan do this for you? Because I have concluded that Pakistani agents were involved in this bomb blast. Yes, but why would they do it for you? Because according to them, we were Tiger's family. And Tiger along with them, with some, with their mutual consent, this work was done. So they were supporting Tiger. There are many, exact, there actually. Are many criminals all over the world and there are many terrorists all over the world. Yes. But their families are not all taken care of by any financing, financing uh, uh, government. But you have been. We were supported only because they felt that we are supporting Tiger. And Tiger used to... So you must have shown some support to Tiger? Never. So how did they come to that conclusion? Because since he had asked them that my family should be brought here, so they thought that he is attached to our family. And that so way he called you, us. Why didn't you protest? That time the things were such, you know, terrible that there was no other alternative to just take mommy, daddy and younger brothers. Only life was the concern. We used to think about our life, that's all. It's very hard to believe that Tiger Maybe, Mami, but with the kind of arsenals that were found in his in his go-downs and every, everywhere else, that his family was uh, worrying about their lives. Yes, it is hard to believe right at the moment, well, but that's what I am very about. confident. Nobody is going to believe. I am sure people, everybody will believe when all the facts are with the in front of the people, they will definitely well, believe me. you have me. stated the facts. You stated the facts that you... Went These are not all the facts. Agents from Dubai to Karachi, you were helped by Pakistani agents through, you were party to yes, that. Yes, yes. We were not party to that. Well, you were Pakistani agents... It was just the circumstances that we were behaving that way. You're not a child. You were taken as a... Yes, but I was Pakistani along with my family that time. If I had been alone that time, I would have never gone to Pakistan. I was with my father, I was with my mother, I was with my wife, I was with my young brothers, whom I have always cared for. In any case, everybody cares for their family. The point is that when you went along, you went along as an adult, a consenting adult. You went to Pakistan, took benefits from the Pakistani government, re-established Yes, yourself. taking benefit is a different story for because I wanted to let them feel that now I am with them. That was the way, you know, I collected all the information. If at the moment, so what I'm credibility do you have that one minute you're with them, one minute you're with us, one minute you're no, with somebody else? No, right from the day I have Who landed in Pakistan. If today you're saying I wanted them to fully believe that today you could be doing this to, to the Indian government? Never. I am an Indian. Why should I do with India? So why do you have two passports? Because they have made passport for me. They didn't po force it down your throat? You chose... Yes, you they chose forced it. No, 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 no. They, f they forced it down my throat. They I gave see. my passport and they forced me to Bangkok with the family. The yes, all the eight people that had escorted us with the guns, you know. I see. People are going to find it very hard to believe that you... It is, I know everything, that it is very hard at this stage, but everything people will accept. Because the facts are facts. Exactly. And I'm sure about so it. So let's look at the facts. You have two passports, right? Which you say was forced down your throat. Your identity card was forced everything down. Everything was forced down. Your school leaving certificate everything, was forced yes, down. Yes, everything was forced down and I accepted with only intention that they should feel now that I am not a danger to them. And that way I could when collect the information. When did you get to know about your brother's involvement in the bomb blast? Uh, on reaching Karachi, on, after I had a long discussion with Tiger that why you have called me here. So he later on explained me all these things. He said now, that? that was around 20th March, when, when we were staying at uh, Tofik's Jaliawala bungalow. I see, so it was about 10 days after the blast. Yes, 10 days after the blast. So at that time, 10 days after the blast, why didn't you come to India then? That was not possible that why time. Why not? It was not, not possible because right from that day... You talked about your loyalty to your motherland. Yeah, I, I Where was your loyalty when yes. you went off with some other country's passport? Mm -hmm. With their... Taking their hosti hospitality, right. you have enjoyed a, a massive house and everything else that they've given you. Right. And you're saying that they forced all this luxury down your throat? Yes. You know, there are a lot of people who like that kind of luxury forced down their throat. Nobody's going to believe this story. 
it is highly implausible that you all this luxury is being forced down your throat and you're expected to be, people are expected to believe that you are innocent i'm not expecting anything from the people i just want to put the facts to the people let them decide i'm not and the facts that are being put in front is that you have a dual identity you've lived there since since march this is a tip of the iceberg okay. let all the facts come in front right. of the people and Can let the people decide let's go back to that first question why didn't you come to your motherland as you call it and report your brother if you are against if you were against what he did see because right from that day we were confined to our houses around four five guards how could you run automatic. businesses with confined to houses yes, you were running was, a successful business that was later on and even that right, time later on why didn't you do it this was the right time to come and have come but you had a good how long is it how long is it since march 11th if 19th? if it had taken me 10 years also i would have waited for 10 years to do this thing well you were enjoying a very good life while waiting for it i was not enjoying if i would have enjoyed this life why should i come here now why should i come here you've come here because you tell us why have you come here just to show the people who are behind this blast and it is not me and family who is behind this things you are excited. and i know who are the people behind it i know the exact addresses and i know the pakistani government involvement that what i want to say to the international community you are saying that you had nothing to do with your brother at all you spoke to him one hour you saying every day yes not every day hmm. Hardly in my life I had spoken with him continuously for one hour. And you lived in the same house. Yes, we lived in the same house. You expect people hour. to believe that? Yes, I. What is the fact? People will believe. What is believable? People will believe. People are not going to believe See, false stories. No, this is not false story. You can ask the people who are staying, in, who are our neighbor. They will definitely tell you. Yes. Can we go back to this question? Yes. That when you got to know on March 17th, yes, that your brother was involved on in it in yes. the bomb blast. 20th March. 20th after March. After landing in Karachi. Why did you not come back? Come back to India then? See, that was I told you the situation was such that we were confined to our houses. At you times, were confined to your you were houses, not allowed. You were con- you were you were also conducting businesses. You were meeting people socially. You were attending weddings. You were doing all kinds of. No, things. I have so, never attended any so, wedding. Wedding. So where do you? See, wedding, neither I have met any people. See, I'll tell you, I have never met any. Uh, I have never attended any wedding. Neither I have been uh, social with any of the f- people over there in Pakistan. I was only visiting Tofik's family, and that was also a purpose in that to gather the information, and I was looking after this construction business, and. By that time also I had a feeling that they were watching us. Do you consider yourself an Indian? Why do you think Tiger did what he did? Tiger did because of poisoning from Pakistani government and January riots. Because in January riots Muslims were singled out. Innocent people were Can I ask you again why did Tiger do what he did? I'm t- I'm telling the same thing. You just tell me again. Tiger did the thing because why Tiger why was Tiger involved in what was his motivation in Tiger's in, motivation to, was to minute, take avenge why did Tiger Memon conspire in the bomb blast in Bombay to avenge January riots what about Pakistan's involvement Pakistan want did what they wanted what did in they want taking what the name Pakistan of want? see Pakistan wants to create trouble in india and to do all those things which harms government of india and people of government people of india be it a muslim or a hindu did you know when they got in touch with the tiger the pakistani officials i think after january riots so you were aware of it later on i came to know after my period of stay in pakistan one and a half year But when you were when did Tiger speak to you at all about what he planned to do? No. Was there talk in the family? No, no. Never. If there would have been a, a slight inkling also, mm-hmm. we would have never allowed him to do all this thing. I see. So could you tell us about now your life as a child? Where were you living when when you were say 7 8 9 years old in Bombay? I was staying at 40 Memanwada Road, Mamadli Road. and your father did what my father had a workshop he 
he was a mechanical engineer and supplying machinery parts to different companies, Tata Oil Mill and all that. Mm -hmm. how many, so how I remember... Big, how big was the flat? It was a large flat, one flat. We all used to stay there. How many family members? Six brothers, father, mother. And in the next flat was my uncle staying with his family. Now the property that you were staying in now, before you left Bombay, is four flats with 12 bedrooms. Not 12 bedrooms, five bedrooms. In four flats? Yes, no four flats, three flats. In three flats? Yes, one flat has one bedroom, one flat has two bedrooms, other flat has two bedrooms, five bedrooms. And would you say that it's a big change from where you were living first? Definitely, because I, we were living there as a child, I born in 1962. Mm -hmm. And while we shifted there, it was 1991, and 92. So financially it was a big jump? Not at all a big jump, because we were six brothers and we all were working. And I remember, I am working since I passed my SSC exams, that is way back in 1978. And from that day, I am working till now and studying. I have never left my studies too. Yes, but you were living in considerable luxury as, as the raids have shown, which are quite different from the way you were living before. What do you account, how do you account for this huge financial change in your family? Where is any huge financial, show me huge, you take 12 bedrooms and 20 bedrooms. We were staying in a five bedroom, three flats. It's a well, huge, for a family of 12 members, five bedrooms is a huge what do you what uh, what do you and think? we all were working since 1978 i'm telling you so what is Bro eldest what brother is was working in? see tiger joined in 1978 maimon cooperative bank as a clerk and there he worked for three four years later he shifted to one electronic goods shop that is at manish market and from that day he's still going there Eldest brother, Suleiman. And what is his other source of income? Illegal act, smuggling. Which I came to know with the friendship of Tofik and other people. So you were living in the same house as Tiger and you claim that you had no idea of what his activities were. The whole no, of no, Bombay knows. No, no, we came to know. No. But his brother was no, living in the same house. We came to know. In 90, 1990, we came to know about, about his activities smuggling and all. This is quite remarkable that you know that everybody in India knows of Tiger Women's activities and you live when, when in everybody the same knew. house. When everybody knew, you tell me. Have you re if you read the press in the last 10 years, he has mm. been covered enough. No, never. Only in 1990 he has been covered and especially after this Bombay blast. I have not come here to say any story. Exactly, or act so in let's get to the fact you're living with your brother and you don't know his source of income. Yes, it's it, it there's is. a whole lot of all these things are coming in. See, there are a lot of strange things happening in this world. Nothing is impossible. This is a fact. Yeah, and everybody you, will believe but, uh, everybody will believe it. Everybody will believe the yes, fact yes. that you have lived in a house with your brother, yes. which all of Bombay knows that your brother is involved in smuggling and you don't know. Yes, I came to know in 1990-91 when he started full fledged smuggling. I see. Before that, you were you were. Before that, he was going to Manish Market shop, and I was under impression that he is doing this video TV business, selling the goods in the market, you which know, more naivety, many people. Your naivety is really touching because it's. I don't think you will find one person in Bombay who will believe. See, you. you don't know my life history. As I told you, since 1978, I was so busy, involved with my family, with my studies, and with my work that I had hardly any time, you know, for all these things. You had time to I leave, I, time to I always, home. see, I always leave, left home at 9 o'clock in the morning. I came back at 11, 11.30. So what do you expect from such a person? And involved in my own activities. Now, what can you tell me about Pakistan's activities here? Have they been in touch with other people? They are in constant touch with this anti-social elements in India to create trouble. Are they using Indian Muslims? They are using international Muslims, not only Indian Muslims. What are international Muslims? Meaning from any country? Any country. In the name of Islam, they want to create trouble in India. Can you tell me that in, uh, when you got your uh, passport yes. and license from the Pakistani government, yes. did you fill up any forms? No. They came with a Polaroid camera. They just took the photographs. What about your signatures? They themselves did. 
many a times it was so difficult for me to copy that signature you know which they had me done on my behalf that's a tall one so what you're saying is that they did all this all of this to you <laughs> and you were an innocent victim living in this luxurious house which was the construction alone was 1.16 you started your business all, all, already and this was all being done under duress you were being forced to live this luxurious life have a dual identity be rehabilitated all this was being done under duress and you lived all this since night it since the since the bomb blast and now you're saying you have come forth because obviously there is a there is a reason why you have come back not for the for the motive of your love of your motherland because the love of your motherland shouldn't have changed in in during while you were living in that luxury why living why in luxury then, living then? in luxury changes your love so for why motherland why didn't you come back then you still yes. have not answered that question i have come back to show the people who were behind this bomb blast the people know who's behind the bomb blast you nobody know knows exactly who was behind the bomb blast and where they are hiding at present i know who were the people behind it where they are hiding and who was the brain behind it who was the brain behind brain was pakistan government i yes i what they call mm -hmm. and what did they do they supplied arms explosives through their agent tofik jaliawala and they dictated the spots and how do you know this i was there to know this only that's why it took me so late so much when time you went, when you went to dubai to meet daud ibrahim in february gone to dubai in february neither in march neither in january last i have visited dubai that was when i had gone for hajj with my wife in 1992 may 1992 i just so let's go back to pakistan when you were when you're saying that they dictated the sites did tiger tell you this who told you tofik jaliawala told me this that the pakistan yes that he used to boast then hmm. i have done a very good job that this way we had planned everything and we dictated what did he say what did tofik jaliawala say to you the fact that i have told about me. the bomb blast yes about the bomb blast what did he say that uh, i have supplied the arms explosives and i have dictated the spots you know because tiger i had given the work to execute tiger with his boys have executed the blast and i had done everything I means supplying of arms explosives and dictating the spots and when you heard this you knew that over 300 people had died in yes. the city where you had lived yes 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 and you didn't think of coming back then i right from the moment i have reached there i have been thinking to come back to my country i was waiting for the occasion you know and along with my family not alone and what is so special about this occasion yes because at this time at this period i had got a lot of informations you had that information also then no that time i didn't have this is in july i completed all the information and everything you know i felt now is the time to and during that period you know they had they were not watching us also they were watching tiger but not the whole family they had relaxed that watch of theirs because i remember very well up to january february i used to see these people around my house God. Can you describe the circumstances uh, when you left? See, I left on 11th March. On the first week of March, Tiger told me that the things are going worst, and by that time yeah, then we had, by that time, they had burned our in riots. Yes, so they then burned they, the office. So, so then he told you what? He told me that see things are very bad here now. So better shift f for. few days to a dubai house where suleiman with his family ayub and his family with children his ch child studies there only in dubai we shift to that house with parents so i said okay but i resisted because i had some i was busy with my work as i told you but then later on he told me he forced me i said okay it's a matter of 4 5 days let me go Why there did he force you yes because he was up to these things so what he hmm. could have left why did he take you see later on what i have concluded is he tried to take care that he involves everybody because the way he has used a house first he sent us then everything he has done at his house because he was he has done in a good planning 
he has transferred all his money also there in dubai the way he is spending now i can understand because he take ultimate precaution you know But to you do everything involved in his in uh, taking out money also won't you no as i told you i have never kept his single rupee account and he has never kept me with any account with me i was busy with my family business my family account so my own practice so you were last place on the 10th i think 12th you i reached left i left 11th in early morning with in emirates flight and at that at that point you claimed that you knew nothing about nothing was, nothing about nothing tigers not at all nothing neither of any family so, member in spite of the fact that you had nothing to do with your brother let's take that as a fact you had nothing to do with your brother you hardly met him say one hour in a year you said you yes said, yes yes one hour yes. in a year you met your brother living in the same house yes you never met him for more than one hour in a year yes But suddenly he comes to you and he says Now we are going to leave. No, and you not leave. we are going and to leave. See, 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 you are misquoting me. I didn't say that we are going to leave. Hmm. He told me that things are not things are very tense here. Yes. So then he's and you to, obey. Tomorrow, you are you are saying that for. I am not obeying him. See, listen, no listen, listen. See, I am not year. obeying. I am using my own brain. And so he tells you brain. to do something and you do it. See, I am not obeying him. His explanation appealed me, and I saw the situation such tense. They had burnt our office. Our office was ransacked. all my clients so records then, so then you went so what he told me that tomorrow they may come at our place also they may burn our house so you better just for four five days few days you This shift to dubai right, place that's all very well with the point so i understood that i think that everybody i didn't obey him in everybody knows that nobody would touch tiger men Huh. Everybody knows that nobody would touch Tiger Mehman. You were aware of that also. What? You were aware of touch your means. You would. You were aware of your brother's reputation. You said yourself since 1990. You knew he was involved in involved in. Yes, he was involved activities. in smuggling and not all exactly. this bomb blast. So smuggling activities does not take place without guns and gunda gardigi. Huh. All right. Huh. So you were aware that he was he was involved in that, huh. and so there was no reason for you to or him to be scared. Right. For what? You were aware of it. For what? Scared for what? You're telling me that you were you were afraid for your lives. Yes. What was there to be afraid of if you knew that the man is is completely stopped? See, we with, have uh, never AK kept. 56? See, we have never kept a gun or any arms in the house. What do you feel that tiger women used to keep all the uh, guarded place for us? Yes. He may not have kept. See, what his role in a house was. See, listen, what his role in a house was. He was just as a family member coming, having talk with us. Once he was out. He called himself Tiger. He never called himself Tiger in our house. So your whole family turned a blind eye on what he was doing. How he didn't turn a blind him? eye. They didn't knew anything about what he is up to. But since 1990, you knew. Yes, 1990. We were, we were. I was having idea that he is involved in illegal business and smuggling business. But that is completely different from this bomb blast and terrorist activities. Yes, but smuggling doesn't take place with uh, with See, affection. See, I am not. It takes place with the pro with protection and guns and bribery and all that kind mm. of thing. See, I was least interested in the smuggling business and the way of doing it. As he was least interested in my income tax and company law and all these things, I never asked him what is the procedure of doing smuggling and what arms to carry. As he never asked me what files you are carrying in your bag. Now, what do you think Pakistan is going to do now? Whenever Pakistan will get this type of occasion, they will definitely give trouble to our country. Definitely, if they will get a chance to slap even one of our person, they will do that. They are up to this, and they are appealing the international. They are seeking support from international Muslims that our Muslim brothers in India are being to tortured. Association is done is done to them, and this way they are taking sympathy from them. But your full family is in Pakistan. I'm not sure whether they are in Pakistan or whether they have shifted because I am out since last 15 days and before going I had left message to my younger brother that see I'm going to India with this purpose I want to show all these people now you better shift from here so I don't know whether they have shifted or not Why were you traveling with two passports See, my pass, one passport is already cancelled, as you know, in uh, somewhere in 1993. So I had, I my identity was changed, and that I was hurt always. Being an Indian, I was forced to become a Pakistani. 
So that was hurting me. Story will not. Uh, see, I'm not telling any story. See, I'm telling you. There, see, I'm telling you the facts. Of luxury and saying you're forced. You start a business and you're forced. See, this is Kalyug, and nobody will believe that I, leaving all these luxuries, I have come here to face all this trouble. But no, people will believe. I am certain about it. People will believe what that you live there long when enough. When all the facts are in front of the people, people will believe, and you will also believe. I don't think anybody is going to believe. At present, you won't believe. At present, see, at present, you won't believe. See, at present, you won't believe. Later on, you will believe. And the people will believe. Mr. Yakub Menon, one thing I would like to ask you: in the Bombay blast, who else has been? Who else in the Bombay blast is involved? To your knowledge, so my, one uh, second. To your knowledge. How yes. do you know of any other names that are involved in the Bombay blast? See, during my stay in Pakistan, I came to know that uh, Tufik Jaliawala, this helped by ISI of Pakistan. These were the mastermind of the blast, and execution was given to Tiger. And his boys, and the training of his boys was also done by this ISI people in Pakistan. Who else in India? I don't know about them, but I am very sure. Who else in Pakistan? I don't know anything about it, but I am very sure about the involvement of this tiger, his boys, Tofik Jaliawala, being an agent of Pakistani government. Now. You waited for since ninety three March. Yes. Uh, to find out what really happened from Tofik Jalianwala. Yes. Why couldn't you ask your own brother? See, I told you right from the beginning. I was not very friendly with my brother, and especially after going to Karachi, I had. Then why did you go with him? If you were not friendly with your brother. It is not See, logical not that you should go with my him. brother. Neither I have obeyed my brother. I told you. I But just you went. went. Yes, I just went for my family's sake. Mr. Mamman, one thing that your facts are saying one thing else. One, something. What my facts are saying? Your facts are saying. Let's look at the facts. Yes. You left with your brother. You're saying. No, I have not left, left with my brother Tiger. Even though you don't tiger. speak to him. See, I don't. I didn't left with my brother Tiger. I left with my parents, my wife, and younger brother. But he asked you to go. That is my family. But did he, he ask you? advised me that the situation is tense and it will be better to shift at the dubai residence where two of our brothers were staying so it was not any obeying of tiger or going with tiger i had left with my family you said earlier to me that your brother asked said that the yes, situation was such that yes, you should go he explained me that the situation is such so he explained it to you and yes. you listened to yes, it now let's look at the facts yes. you went after a discussion with him mm. although you claim that you have had no contact with the man for except fleetingly mm. all right so mm. That by itself is a very difficult thing to believe. It is difficult. That a man admit, that you don't have any contact with, you are now moving with your whole family because of him. That's one fact. Right. Secondly, the second fact which is difficult to believe is that your Pakistan connection, which is that they have given you all these luxuries and rehabilitation and everything, and you right. claim that it was all under duress. You even start companies and you live there comp yes, yes, uh, comfortably, and even that duress. is under duress. That yes, is difficult yes, to yes, believe. Yes, yes. Let's go back a little bit to the other people who are involved in in the bomb blast. Do you know Javed Chikna? I've heard his name. He is also in Pakistan. And Ijaz Pathan? Ijaz Pathan is also in Pakistan. Did they go with you? No. You met them there? No, I haven't met them. I had just the information about their whereabouts, and how did you? What information? How did you get it? I got from this Tiger's driver, Shafi, who became a you know. I developed friendship with him to go get all the information from him. And these these two men are still there. Yes, yes, they are there. And in they are also rehabilitated by. Yes, they are rehabilitated by Tofik. They also have, uh, they have Pakistani, a Pakistani passports, identities, they have identity cards. They stay in a flat over there. In fact, some of the boys are staying at Tofik's bungalow. Some of the Rufi boys, cottage. meaning who are these? I don't remember their names. You know, some Teda Meda, some names are there. Yaku Beda, 
and this so way. how many indian muslims are now in pakistan who have been rehabilitated by the pakistani government this 8 10 boys of tiger is daud ibrahim there i don't know about daud ibrahim according to tofik he is there he is But in pakistan i have never met him he is in pakistan you have never met him in your life never in my life never in my life you haven't met javed chikna i haven't met javed chikna i have never met all these boys also but i know and it is very confirmed information that they are in pakistan and i know the exact addresses also they are staying with the pakistani passport pakistani identity cards and they have been rehabilitated by tofik jaliawala on government's behalf since you've got so much of information perhaps you have information on what pakistan's next move is i told you pakistan is always Anything moving to trouble no specific i don't pakistan know pakistan is what always moving to give trouble to india anything more specific no i don't know any specific thing because do you know if they're making contact with more people here now they may try they may try